Iconic Aussie rockers in excess. They are showing no sign of slowing down. And 2014 has been their best year ever. They've just been awarded the most popular album of the year. And they sat down with our entertainment guru, Dickie Wilkins. When In Excess exploded onto the scene in the 1980s, they created a new sensation that would last a lifetime. What an incredible year it has been. Did you see it coming? I suppose when we started reading the script for this miniseries, yeah, had a, an inkling. This year they were catapulted back into the spotlight with the TV miniseries. Apart from telling an incredible story, it was a celebration of these wonderful songs, wasn't it? Thanks, thanks for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the, the you know, that was the, the crux of it, being able to get the right music of ours that told mm. the story as well. So spanning our career, you know, I think the, the music itself does tell the story. We could live for a thousand years. In hindsight, it all looks like a brilliant, genius plan. You know, the, the album's all back on the charts, this quadruple platinum best of in excess. Did you see that coming? We were obviously hoping that the, uh, the best of would get the traction, you know, that it did, but we didn't really expect anything. You know, it was just we were hoping that, obviously, that um, the music would get back into people's minds and hearts. The great thing about your music is that it was and is sort of timeless. It's not stuck in the 80s or the 90s. It's, you know, those grooves of yours and the melodies of yours. It's been great to actually be in Australia uh, for a successful part of our career as opposed to viewing it from afar. You know, Which a lot of the time we were. Yeah. Mm. I mean, when Michael uh, passed away, that was to be our first tour of Australia in eight years. We never got to do that tour. So we, we, we felt like we constantly missed out. But right from the early days, you know, right from the early 80s, you were marketed and positioned and worked as an international band, you know, you, which you had to do to, to do what you, you did. But you'd be based in the States. When we looked at the possibility of us going overseas, one of the first things that occurred to us was the old road was not the path for us and that to go to the US was good. You know, they embrace success too, they're not afraid of it. You just keep greasing the wheels, you go as fast as you want, as Michael used to say. All these sales this year and this incredible resurgence of and the popularity of your music, Michael's up there looking down, what's his reaction to all of that? I th oh, look, I think he'd be um, proud as punch. You mm. know? Um, yeah. But the one thing Michael always hoped for and, and said in you know a number of interviews is that you know that in excess music would matter and and, and would last you know and it has so um, he got his wish. What's the future for the band? Yeah. We haven't really got any plans as a band yeah. at the moment. Um, you know, um, I think we've all spent the last couple of years um, just kind of getting a life. Um, but we may do something in the future. We'll see. You know, the, the album's all back on the charts. This quadruple platinum best of in excess. Did you see that coming? We were obviously hoping that the... Uh, the